Vitamin C serum for dark spots is regarded as one of the best anti-aging ingredients on the market for that very reason. And it's the key to maintaining a smooth, even, and glowy complexion at the same time. Also known as L-ascorbic acid, it is required for the proper function of the skin because it plays an essential role in collagen production. But what does it actually do on the skin? how to use it for the best results, and how long will results take are all valid questions, which I'll be going over, so you don't want to miss this. Stay tuned till the end. Also, why you should stay tuned till the end is I'll be revealing which vitamin C serum I'm a big fan of, and one that I think stands above the rest, right after this intro. Hi guys, you've seen Arsenal Media Pharmacist here on YouTube. On this channel, I help you guys make better and more informed decisions about your health and wellness, particularly when it comes to skincare, a topic I've been getting a lot of questions about. So if that's something you're into and want to be part of, be sure to smash that like button below now. Let's also try to get to 100 likes on this video. Seriously, that would make my day. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Now, although you're probably getting enough vitamin C in your diet, there's actually no way to guarantee it's going straight to your skin, which is why serums and other topical products is the most direct way to reap all those benefits. Now you've also probably heard of all the amazing benefits vitamin C serum brings like hydration, brightening, redness reducing, may help prevent sagging, sun damage, and wound healing, but one that makes it ideal is the fact that it has an excellent safety profile. Now, you probably clicked on this video to see how exactly vitamin C will work to fade away those dark spots and sunspots, but in addition to that, the reason why I'm a big fan of vitamin C serums is that it also attacks those post-acne marks that the sun contributes to as well. You see, after a pimple pops and heals, the sun makes those marks worse, and vitamin C serum can provide a solution to that. The antioxidants interfere with the production of pigment in the skin and helps fade those spots at the site. Which brings me to my next point. You get the most vitamin C related benefits from treatments like serums, creams, and lotions, which are typically formulated with high concentrations of their respective active ingredients, between 10 to 20%. A common mistake I is using vitamin C cleansers and other skincare products that you rinse off. These are not considered treatments and typically include much lower percentages of active ingredients as low as 0.01%. In terms of how to use vitamin C serum, it's typically applied once or twice per day. A good rule of thumb is to cleanse, tone, apply the serum, and then moisturize. Now, the best time that I recommend applying vitamin C is in the morning, as these treatments are intended for daytime use because they can neutralize free radicals you come across throughout the day, as opposed to using your serum only at night. Now, a big problem with vitamin C serums is stability of the product. The serum stability is affected by two things, product formulation and packaging. The ingredients of L-ascorbic acid, asorbyl palmitate, and magnesium asorbyl phosphate are all formulated to help retain the potency of the serum. In terms of packaging, you should also ensure that the product has a water-free formulation, and the bottle should be opaque and airtight to protect it from light exposure. So if someone is trying to sell you vitamin C serums in clear bottles, do me a favor and avoid them. If you need a vitamin C serum for sensitive skin, look for a lower concentration of 15% or less, while a more potent dose should have a 20% concentration for maximum absorption. Now, in terms of the products that I like and recommend, which I'm not sponsored with or paid to promote, is the first being True Skin Serums Vitamin C. It's made with a combination of hydrating ingredients, jojoba oil, hyaluronic acid, and vitamin E. Now, vitamin E, for some, it might cause pimples for those with acne-prone skin, but it does have a little witch hazel to help tighten pores and calm the inflammation. The second, if you're worried about breakouts caused by the serum, is to try the La Roche-Posay Pure Vitamin C Serum, which includes 10% pure vitamin C, 
neurosensine and salicylic acid. Simply apply three to four drops of this face serum every morning to the face and neck and use it alone or as an added boost under your moisturizer. Not only can it help brighten the complexion, but it can help reduce the look of wrinkles and fine lines too. Great products, both will be listed below in the description to pick up, so definitely check them out. Overall, vitamin C can help heal blemishes, reduce hyperpigmentation, and give your skin a little radiance. Consistency is key for maximum effect, so add it to your skincare routine in a way that makes sense for you. And that's it guys. Share with me down below what your thoughts are. I hope that this video helps give you a better understanding on vitamin C serums as a whole. Like the video if you did enjoy it and subscribe not to miss out on future videos. Thanks for sticking tuned all the way till the end and I'll see you on the next one.